Hello everyone and welcome back to our community. If you're new, I'm Jen. I focus on all things health, wellness, and self-care. And one of our personal favorite forms of self-care is a wine tasting. We tried out the Wink subscription service. My boyfriend and I, we are always tasting wines for you guys. It's like our biggest hobby. Thank you to Wink for providing us with this free subscription box so that we can experience it ourselves to give you guys a review. When you have a membership for Wink, you take this quiz. The quiz is six questions and then based on those questions, it curates, you know, what wines they think you would like. You do not have to choose those four wines, but it is some great guidance. You also can choose, you know, there's all these different filters, sustainable, low sulfur, low sugar, natural, organic. I think that's the main differentiator between so many other places where you can buy wine. And the quiz is really helpful for anyone who doesn't really understand what wine they like, because the questions aren't like, do you like dry wine or sweet wine? The questions are more like, do you like black coffee or do you like a lot of milk and sugar in your coffee? Things that that, you know, lend itself to not knowing anything about wine, but they will suggest what they think you might like. But because of all the different filters and all of the different ways that you can search, you can find on your own exactly what you like if you are someone who knows what you like. And every single wine has a section for review, so you can see what other people thought about that wine. I always like to go to the ones with the highest ratings and then see if it's dry or sweet, and I will choose like the best rated dry wine personally. And they all have such unique graphic design on them, such cool art on them. Like, you can really tell that they're just very well curated, the selection of wines that they have. You get to choose four wines with your subscription every single month. So they use minimal intervention winemaking methods and sustainable farming techniques to create these wines for their community and also, you know, preserving the planet at the same time. They all have super reasonable prices. So if you're a Wink member and you're getting the subscription box, you get about $2 off per wine. There's also no strings attached, so you can cancel at any time. You can just get the four bottles that month and just get a nice discount. So the monthly membership is about $59 and then you get that amount in credits to purchase whatever four bottles of wine you want and shipping is included. You can even get like three nice good bottles of wine for the price of 60. So to get four with a discounted rate and shipping included is incredible. They also have a cool referral program where you can invite a friend to be a member and then get $30 off. I will put any links below with any discounted rates for Wink. I'm, I'm pretty sure I have a referral code or something. All right, so now you guys can watch us try out these four wines that we got. We got two white and two red, so there's something for everyone, and you can see us taste it right here. I'm ready to get drunk. Woo! Bring it on. Welcome back. I just gave you the lowdown on what Wink is, so now we're gonna jump into our first impressions and tasting all of the wine. So, do you wanna do the honors and give us the first one? First one is? Les Bobos. I think it's pronounced Les Bobos. It is a 2019 Chardonnay. For Wink members, it's $14. Regular price, it is $16. So we got this at $14. So we do these wine videos all the time and Ethan ends up pouring full glasses and we usually have five full bottles to get through. So Whoops. by the end of it, we are- Whoopsie daisy. Let's just say tipsy. All right, so we are trying the Chardonnay. Also, I love all of them have such great art on the front. Like this one was so, yeah, really the pretty. graphic was so cool. Cheers. So smells sweet, like a Sauvignon Blanc, right? Well, now that you already said pineapple, it smells It good. smells like grilled pineapple. <laughs> love that. That is really good. I wasn't expecting to like love the first one. It's got a little spiciness to it. I don't agree. Yeah. <laughs> it is very smooth and easy to drink, I think, and buttery. What are your thoughts? No, not as buttery. It's more... <laughs> we basically disagree yeah. on everything so far. It's more... It's more pungent, it's right in your face. Very strong flavors. Yeah, a, flavorful. A nice acidity, mm -hmm. but then I find that there's a, a spice to it. I don't know what that I is. I don't feel that at all. The wine can hit your mouth, mm. very, and you can get very different flavors. That's true. Right when you drink it versus- That is after, true. After a few sips. What I will say is it's very easy to drink. Like I could see myself this summer. Mm. I'm. This is like a really great, well-priced Chardonnay, and, I could, and I'm not a white wine drinker. I could see myself enjoying this bad of You don't taste the spice? No, I feel not like at all. Jalapeno in it. Literally not at all. Did you just eat something spicy? Would it be the green tea? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> On Wink, usually we use the Vivino app, highly recommend, but for the sake of time, I don't think we have to show you the reviews on Wink and Vino. Of Vivino, we're gonna use Wink. So it says medium bodied, I would agree with that. Sweetness, dry, alcohol 13.9. It's a vegan, low sulfur, low sugar, and sustainable. You know what it, it, it was? It, it's not that I tasted spice. It's not spice. It's I tasted bitterness. And it's so sweet. But the lemon rind has bit bitterness. Really? It's not that spice. makes more sense to yeah. me because you taste like a black pepper spice in red wine. 
wine sometimes that I've never really tasted or seen. Oh, it's like the back of the back of the mouth, back of the throat bitterness. This is so good. It's also funny that it says dry, and we're like, this is sweet because we like really dry wine. It's pretty sweet. So white wines are just always gonna taste sweet to us. Yeah. But I do taste like the pear and like the white grape. Like you know, remember white grape juice? Mm -hmm. Like I taste that. Yeah. Okay, so let's switch to red. Yes. Rosa. Obscura. 2018 red blend. I really like blend. So this is a red blend. I wanted to switch it up because the last white wine video we did was a lot of Sauvignon Blanc. And I wanted this one, since it is a subscription box, I wanted to get a few different things. It's sort of like the best rated ones in each area. And they have a lot of cool blends, so you don't have to just get a Sauvignon Blanc or just a Cabernet. They have blends of multiple different red wines, multiple different white wines. I do want to mention really quickly that it does have an alcohol percentage of 14.2, which strikes yeah. me as high. Yeah. If you guys have any sense as to whether or not that's high for so don't fill wine, it up. please reach out. Comment down below. Comment down below. It's a blend between Zinfandel and Cabernet Sauvignon, and those are two wines that we love. So I have a feeling we're really gonna love this one. Plum. What's the stuff that helps you go doo doo? Melatonin, magnesium, coffee. Melatonin. Miralax? No. It's a, it's a fruit. Prune. Prune. <laughs> Melatonin. That is the smoothest. Whoa. It like dissolves in your mouth, right? That's more buttery than the white one. That is pure butter. Wow. So is that full bodied? I don't think. I always get confused as to I don't think. what that is. Full bodied is, in my opinion, those like thicker wines, you know what I mean? It's like a huge gulp in your mouth, which I love. Like I love a heavy Cabernet. This seems this, full bodied to me. I think it's medium to full. Viscous. What does that mean? It's got like a density to to it. Honey is viscous. Are we drinking the same wines today? No. We're usually so in sync. What do you mean honey? Honey's like thick. This is more lathering on my tongue. That's what I was gonna say. I That's feel like it's I dissolving need. on my tongue. This is more lathering, it's more coating. Yes. Not dissolving. Not dissolving, but it, it literally, it's like you drink it and it like coats your yeah. tongue. Okay, so we're on the same page. You're just we're on the same page. I don't know vocabulary. Sorry. I'm still getting those dark Why does it... fruit flavors, like currant, Even black blackberry, currant, blackberry, but but still the, um, the plum and the uh, sorry, what's the stuff? That makes sorry, you <laughs> fruit. What's fruit. the stuff that makes you make duty? Fruit. Okay, right, well you want to see what it's supposed to taste like? Yeah, but it's really good. Okay. I really like that. Rich, jammy, and food friendly. Tasting notes of baking spice, black currant, yeah. pomegranate, and red cherry. I totally get the pomegranate. Yeah, red cherry. Sure. Totally get that. This is good, Jan. We gotta get this again. What's the price oh, of this? Oh, thank you. The price is only twelve ninety nine for Wink members and fifteen dollars for a reg for the regular price. Such a great price. I love her. L'atelier du sou. That's like pretty no, good. No idea. Lots of French wines here. I speak the... French. I think Desu is is south of the south. This one is thirteen ninety nine for Wink members. Mm -hmm and $15.99 for a regular price. So it seems it's not a blend, it's a type of wine that we've never had before. It's really curious to try it. We would never pick this out in a wine, in a liquor store ever. Like, we, I've never heard of a void yet. What is it? Is it a blend? No, it's just a white a wine, yeah. Grape? It's an inviting white from the south of France. Just the Produced south. in the oh, south of France, south. you're all right. All right, let's smell it. It's it significantly different than the first one. I agree, it smells very light. More green apple-y. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Crisper. Like honeysuckle, like crisp, yeah, like a honey yeah. crisp apple. Like a green apple skin. They look insane. Both of us are like this. <laughs> <laughs> the taste is consistent with the Wait, smell. Wait, that's very different. It's, it's more towards- Crisper, a, I like it. It tastes more towards like a Sauvignon Blanc where it's- It's more refreshing. It reminds me of, I don't think you've ever had this wine or you might not be able to speak to it, agave wine. This tastes like agave to me. I will say this. Too sweet for me. It's very sweet, like almost to the teeth. It, it almost coats your teeth with the sugars. You, you, can only, you can only have like one glass of this. You know what's funny? What? As you're saying, it's very sweet. I'm glancing at what it says and it says sweetness dry. I only oh, get us ever for these videos dry wines because even those sometimes are too sweet for us. I really don't get it. It's too sweet for me, I agree. Could only have I one think, glass of this. I think we just, we don't love white wines. We can appreciate them and like it's really refreshing in the sun, but it's almost like when it feels a little, when it tastes a little sweet, I just like feel a headache coming on. You know when this would be great? Tell us, take us there. Going to a Set vineyard, it's a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. It's warm, but it's not too warm. Mm -hmm. You're comfortable. 
you're with all your friends, mm -hmm. and you get a wine tasting. Mm -hmm. And this is one of them. Mm -hmm. You don't get too much of it, but you get just enough. And actually, if you get just the right amount of mm -hmm. it, it could be one of your favorite wines that you taste. The moment you get a whole glass, mm -hmm. and this is the only wine that you have, it can become a little much. Wow, you really took me there. Thank you. <laughs> if you're a dry wine gal, and you love white wine, then you'll love this one. I just like I'm not a white wine person, I guess. It kind of tastes like an apple that isn't quite ripe enough, more bitter because it's not quite there. I like just this, just this little taste. The three words is vibrant, bright fruit, and elegant. And the winemaking is vegan, low sugar, sustainable. What? How does is that, that low sugar? Know? Why would a wine not be vegan? Because it's raised on a farm with other animals and maybe the animal shit and the, that's used as fertilizer. Like, what? no, what? How could a wine not be vegan? I mean, if there's an ant that hops on a grape, takes a shit on the grape, and that absorbs into the grape, and that becomes wine, is that vegan? Sex. Last one, red. We're ending on a high. We love a red. This is a kin and country Zinfandel. We don't have Zinfandels often. No, we don't. But we I enjoy like them. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I figured we'd get it instead of like the typical Cabernet. I was like, this one has the highest ratings of the red wines on Wink. Let's try it. It's from Lodi, California. This wine is $19 regular price and $17 for Wink members. So this is our most expensive one. I have a feeling it might be our favorite. So I'm actually pleased that it's our last one, but it's also 15% alcohol. So prayers to us. <laughs> It smells very different and dry, Whoa. not sweet. Thank the Lord. It almost smells more earthy. Yes, it does not taste sweet at all. I'm so pleased. It smells like a bit of a soily flavor, which is really nice. I, I love that. that he works in soil, so. I work in soil. People don't know what that is. I don't know what it means. But do you know what I mean? Yeah, I do. It's way more earthy, not as sweet, which is what we love. It smells organic. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've ever said that before. I don't think organic really has a flavor. No, I, I totally get that. Yeah. Cheers. Cheers. That has a spice. Mm. That has a kick. Okay. Totally different than the other red. Also lathery, but not as much. Right. The first thing I was going to say was, whoa, it's lathery. And then it hit my throat and it was like a kick. Mm. That's when I said spice. Okay. It's got that currant cur cur in it, but it does have that spice. Black pepper. Black pepper. Mmm. Oh my god, it's I complex. This is full body. This is interesting. It's interesting. Yeah. This is interesting. I almost want to skip right to what it is because mm. I don't know. While you're thinking, the three words are easy drinking, juicy, and luscious. I get that luscious to you. Medium bodied, dry, low sulfur. This is the first one where you kind of can tell that it's higher alcohol percentage. So as good as it is, that might throw you off a little bit. You might not be able to drink the full two or three glasses that you want versus one. But this is great for like a fancy dinner when you want to just like enjoy your wine and take a few sips at a time. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like I, this is one that I want to enjoy and that's, it makes sense that it's like the $19, $20 one. Okay, I'm gonna go on a limb. It almost tastes like a jerky, like a jerky <laughs> or like a tobacco flavor. I, I do too, but that's so not what this says. Can I tell you? Yeah. Tasting notes of, I have no idea what this is. Pink pepper. You said pepper. I know, and, but what the f is pink? Whatever, it's pepper. Okay, pink pepper, pomegranate, raspberry, strawberry. It tastes like a chocolate covered strawberry with some black pepper on top. Mm, it does. That oh is, my God. Did I nail it? Yeah. <laughs> All right, those are our first impressions. We're gonna enjoy this last one because we absolutely love it. And it's 15% alcohol, so we're gonna take our time with this. Thanks, Wink. Give it a wink, but really a thumbs up if you like this video. Comment down below. We love seeing what you guys have to say. What wines? Tell us what types of wines are your favorite wines. Definitely click subscribe so you don't miss any of our wine reviews and any of my health, wellness, self care things. Don't know what he's doing. The end of these videos are really always weird. So I hope you guys watch till the end because by the time we're drunk, it just gets weird. All right. Agree. Stay healthy and wear a mask. Mwah.